Title holder will reveal his or her decision at the veto ceremony, whereupon the head of household must be prepared to immediately nominate another house guest. However, this summer, some games could result in no one winning the power of veto. So plan your strategies carefully. Nice twist, nice twist. Tomorrow, we will compete for the golden veto, a veto worth its weight in gold. It's important for me to win the power of veto because I want to make sure Ashley does not take herself off the block. It is extremely important for me to win the power of veto because I don't think anybody else will take me off the chopping block because they won't want to risk their neck. This meeting's adjourned. As a Muslim, I'm going to be waking up around 5 a.m. every day of the week for prayer. What goes on here in the Big Brother house can very much contradict what it is to be Muslim. There's a lot of deceit and backstabbing. It's important for me to win while maintaining my integrity. Play the game as best as I can with what I've learned through my religion, what I've learned from the principles that my family has taught me. Seriously, there's so much stuff. Put it on top of that. Ashley needs to win the veto by far. I got some other vitamins today, but lazy. When Ashley came into the house, she wasn't very warming to the other house guests. She did her own thing and, and didn't really warm up to everyone. It's like every time you walk in a room and people are quiet, you think they're talking crap about you. Yeah. It's like almost like remember in high school when like you knew a group yeah. of friends, people were talking about you. You feel like a piece of crap. You can't take a lot of things personal here. You know people are going to talk a little bit of smack. No, I know, but it's like, yeah, but it's like every day it. to have that feeling of blah, 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 behind because they know that right now I don't want to go. Yeah. What you need to do now is you have a chance to win the PO. And you know what? And, and, and then honestly, how I look at it is, you know, God, if you want me to be here, you know, let me win it. Yeah. It is extremely, extremely important for me to win the power of veto. To go with Howie would be, my, I think, my best bet. Howard. If I pick you for the competition, will you use a veto? If you can't. I think about that because it's going to be tough. She basically wanted me to compete for the golden power of veto for her. If you can't use it, can I pick you and you'll throw it just so I have one less competitor? So it'll at least give me a better chance of winning it myself. So uh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Strategically, I don't think it's smart for me to be letting people know about my intentions or my non-intentions yet because I just don't know where people stand. Howie was debating if he would use it, but, you know, it's kind of a gamble, so we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, so. we'll talk later then. Okay, yeah. Hey, everyone, it's time for the veto competition. <laughs> Nominees, please join me up here. Let's go, guys. Only six will participate in this competition. The head of household and the two nominees and three other players of our choosing. As head of household, I will choose first. I choose Maggie. Please join me up. I don't get applause. I chose Maggie because she and I are a lot alike as far as um, competitive nature. I just felt she was a really good match for me. I choose her. Eric to be uh, part of the veto competition because I know he's a fierce competitor and I still want to trust him. I choose the Ducinator. I was picked for the Golden Veto competition today by Ashley. Uh, she thinks I have her back and wants me to, you know, either save her or just let her win it. As head of household, I get to choose a host. I choose Yvette. Okay, let's go change and head outside. When we 
walked outside, there was three huge jungles, and then within that huge rectangle was strings just all over the place, entangled and knotted and up and down and going over bars, and it was crazy. Are you ready for the first veto competition? Yeah. yeah. It's time to play Rectangled. Each team will stand in front of their own rectangular cage. You and your partner will each lock yourselves to the ends of your rope. At the center of your rope is a veto medallion. In order to free the veto medallion, you must climb your way through the rectangle until you and your partner are completely untangled from the cage. Once a team has untangled themselves, you must grab the set of keys under the veto medallion, unlock the rope from your waist, slide off the medallion, and place it on the winning post. But only one person can place the veto medallion. Hopefully you choose your partner wisely for this huge tangled mess because the first to place their veto win power over all the rest. All right, guys, head over to your starting position and lock your ropes to your belts. Eric's background is fighting fires, and he's always dealing with ropes and hoses and climbing. So this is this was perfect. Are you guys ready to start? Yeah. yeah. Let's get it going. Let's do it. On your mark, get set, go. Hi guys. Ah! It's nice and big, dude. So you can throw it. Keep track of that rope. Oh, this hurts my knees like hell. Good, good. Come on. We were each at an end of the row, and we had to go through the maze and through the knot holes and come on, you know, out on each side and end up at the front where the veto was sitting. It was mostly just work together, give each other the slack in the rope that we need because it was all one rope. So we knew we were going to um, we we're going to need to help each other and work through it. Yeah. The burns. The grass was hot, so I'm, you know, rubbing up against it, you know, kind of getting rug burns. Actually, I was struggling a little bit, complaining. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get through this? When you're climbing with all this rope and trying to put you and the rope over and under and around, and it was exhausting. Go, Kesha, go, go, you go, you go. Let's go, Eric, it's a fire, it's a fire. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Come on. Come on. Oh. Go, Case, go. My body started to shut down. Rope was starting to get heavy. You know, heat exhaustion was, was you know, starting to set in. Come on, Case. It was a disaster. Breathe. Breathe in through your nose. I'll pull you up. Let's go. Get through. Get through it. Get through it. Now's the time. Now's the time. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on, Ashley. You can do it. You can't rest now. Good girl, come on. Ashley, Ashley finished her, uh, you know, her maze and thought it was over and took a nap out there. I don't know if her asthma caught up to her. Or she was thinking about where she was uh, going shopping next week when she leaves the house. My body just completely gave out, so I figured I'd just rest until Howie got through. 